Happy Thursday times two. Um, this is my second video today. Oh, wow. My dog just harfed. I'm so sorry about that. Um, this is my... I have no words. Um, this is my second video for the day. And um, the first one was just telling you a little bit about my blog, which turned into not being about my blog, um, which is par for the course for me. Um, but I got two little black bags today, and they, they ended up coming on the same day, even though I closed them like four days apart, which tends to happen. Little black bag ships things um, kind of in bulk sometimes. And so this bag was actually, um, hello, you can see we still have Christmas stuff up. Um, my husband is supposed to take that stuff down, and I am um, being obstinate and not doing it myself. Um, so anyway, uh, this particular bag was a gift from Nary, I'm not going to try Nary, Nary, <laughs> uh, Nary gifted me a cosmic love pouch, which I actually very much wanted to just keep and close the bag. Um, but then I opened the pouch and Nary offered me a multi because Nary really <laughs> wants me to learn how to trade. It's like somebody pushing you to be a better version of yourself and I just wanted to say no but she pushed me and then my other friends pushed me and so it was Neri she gifted me the pouch I couldn't say no so I uh, I took her trade and then I started trading for serious um, that, that's awful grammar for serious so I tr I started trading and um, I had the help of a lot of people I know Amanda and Sarah and um, trendy and a bunch of other people, Lori, um, just threw the gauntlet down and threw a bunch of stuff at me and I took it. Um, uh, I was, I was like, okay, Neri wants to see what I can do with this bag. And she was very encouraging. So, um, Neri, this bag is for you. Um, I have to tell you right now, I love everything in it. It's a great bag and I'm, I'm really glad I didn't just take the pouch <laughs> because I would have. I know it would have been a great bag. I would have been like, yeah. So um, let's start small and work big, shall we? The first thing I got that I really, really wanted, and some something you may not know is these little candles, um, these love candles are small. They're travel tin size. So let me show you um, size of a palm. Hang on a second. Which dog is that? Sophie. My dog is, I, I don't know. She's excited. Um, and the one I wanted, of course, was, yeah. But I'm actually going to take this to work because a bunch of my clients are dealing with this right now, and I think they're going to love it. And quite frankly, um, I don't want this message around my son. Um, as much as I appreciate it, he is at the point where um, he wants to start dating and I won't let him. He's, he's just too little for those emotions. Um, but I don't want him to get this idea. I want him to I want him to experience things for himself. So I'm taking this up to work and the rest of us cynical cynical beast will deal with it. Um, so we're all going to go be cynical up at my office. I'm taking this up today. I'm so excited. Uh, what I do want to tell you is don't buy this for the smell. I don't know what this is, but it smells like my... My grandma smells better than this. I don't know. Don't buy it for the scent. It's like, I don't know what that is. I don't like it. It's like, um, it, it's just bad. I don't know. The next thing I got, I'm going to take my ring off. Um, I got a $22 rain ring. And I wanted it. I'd wanted it for a while, and I kept swapping it. I kept getting, like, hair care. Um, multis and I would take them and swap those up and that's actually how I got a lot of the stuff in my bag um, because this was when all the hair care came out the hair care and the appliques and ultimately at the very end of my bag I couldn't swap them up anymore and so I took the rain ring it, this is a rain gold filigree ring and this is going to be one of those things where I think you're going to kick yourself for not having gotten it and now you're going to go back and you're going to get it because this is beautiful this is the gold rain ring. Let me see if I can make that pretty. Zoom, little camera, zoom. Okay, the color is not great because of my camera. But I need you to know this ring is beautiful in person. It feels substantial. It feels um, metal, metallic. <laughs> to 
today is one of those days. Um, this, there we go. That's what it looks like. Can you see that? This is what it looks like. This um, burnished gold, beautiful brown. I wear a lot of brown. Um, a lot of brown and a lot of khaki. That right there is what that ring looks like. I want you to see that. And now I want you to really consider if you can live without this ring. Um, the back of the ring is this gorgeous stretchy band, which doesn't look like a stretchy band. Um, if, if you're not looking at it right up close, you can't see that stretchy band. It just looks like a really thick gold band. And these are the comfortable ones. Unlike the little pin ones that you see on the guest rings and the Betsy rings, these thick bands are so comfortable. And for people like me that have that big fleshy finger, um, this band is where it's at. Now I'm going to show you. I have long fingers, so keep that in mind. I'm going to do a middle finger for all my haters um, to show you how beautiful this ring is on. I'm just show you this is how flat it is, which is nice because I'm the kind of person that I tend to get stuff stuck on things. Doesn't hurt whenever it hits stuff. It's flat. It's beautiful. And you can wear this on any finger. I mean, I could go down to my pinky. It's it's loose on my pinky. Know that this ring is probably not for um, a size six or below. And Unless you want to wear it on like your thumb, you can probably get it um, to a six on the thumb if you have really small hands. Um, honestly, this is going to look good on really any finger you've got. Um, thumb might be a little bit too short. Let me check it out. I will beta test this for you. Okay, no. No stumpy thumb. You're going to look like your, um, what's that called, a street fighter with the brass knuckles. You can get one for every finger and urgh, lots of filigree rings. But this ring is beautiful. Don't pass this up. Um, this is this reminds me of how nobody wanted these rings. It says, like the Lydell necklaces, nobody wanted them. And it's beautiful. Let me see if I can get that sheen for you again. That's it without the sheen. But there we go. Right there. I'm so excited about this. Um, I, I opened it and I was like, ah. Oh. I love finding things that I didn't think I would like. And this is what happens. I get stuck with stuff in my bag that I just can't trade. And um, I end up talking about it in my whole video. So this is the $22 Rain Gold Filigree Ring. Treat yourself. And you can get these for cheap right now. These are going for appliques, hair stuff, and chocolate. You know, you're going to have to give up chocolate. I don't know if you want to do that, but um, I would. Two chocolates. This is a no-brainer. Okay, I'm going to move on because my time is going long, and I've got three things left to show you. The next thing I want to show you is the $30 rain bracelet. This isn't rain. I'm sorry. This is the punch. I was still thinking about the ring. The ring is that good. Um, this is the punch wire wrap bracelet show you. This is a really thick piece of stone. What I like about this bracelet is, number one, um, for the people that have small wrists that are complaining they don't have cuffs, this is a small, small cuff. This is going to work for you. Um, I'm having to pull it apart a little bit, which is nice. It's not going to break. It's metal. Um, pull it apart a little bit, and it's bound by wire. I don't know if you can see that. That's metal right there. Uh, bound by wire. And um, I'll show you how it looks. Um, that's the side. It's the front view. Let me move it a little bit. I hate the mirror thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous with my filigree. Let me show you how the, it looks with the filigree. Um, this punch bracelet is really beautiful in person. These two together would be an amazing, amazing match. And you can get these for cheap, too, right now. They're going for, like, $28 rain horn earrings. If you can't get rid of them, go after the punch bracelet. These two together are gorgeous. Um, the thing I, I like about this is if for any reason, these are metal. I don't see them pulling apart. But if any reason, for any reason, these pull apart and fall apart, this stone is a gorgeous stone. You, you can do anything you want with this. You can restring this necklace. But for me... I like um, things I can keep on my desk that are pretty and smooth. Um, 
they've shown that smooth items for um, autistic children soothe them. And so if you can run your fingers across it, it's going to have a similar effect for you. You don't have to be autistic to get that de-stressing benefit. So you could actually... If this falls apart, it doesn't look like it's fused to the cuff in any way. So if this were to ever fall apart, you can reuse the metal that's holding it together. You can reuse the stone, and then you have a gold cuff. For $30, this is a no-brainer. I, I have no idea why this is not more popular, but it's a beautiful cuff, and then whenever it does finally wear out, you have a cuff, a stone, and some really pretty wiring for anything that you want to use. Um, strongly recommend these together. I didn't realize that they were going to be so cute. Holy cow. Okay, got to move on because it's 10 minutes and I have to leave in like 20 to go to work. The next thing I want to show you is my Deluxe Tulux wallet. It's a flip wallet. People are saying they don't like this and I was like the first one. This is something I really wanted. Trendy got this for me and then she opened her bag with it for me and then swapped it to me. Um, I love this. I didn't know it, it wasn't going to be squishy. Um, it's bigger than I thought it would be. This is about um, a very long person's hand, a very long person, a very, a person's very long hand um, size. It's, so it's bigger than I thought it would be. It's the size of a general, um, normal, normal sized wallet. Um, it's got two zippers at the top. Let's see if I can do them together. No, I can't. I don't want to break my wallet. And this was actually something they put in my bag. I didn't, I didn't earn this in any way by trading. They'd left it out of one of my other wallet or one of my other bags. And uh, it's got two really pretty flaps. And so they just put it back in this bag because um, there was no guarantee if I got a credit I was going to get it in my next uh, bag. And I really, really wanted this item. Um, and I refused a lot of offers. It was up to like the 70s on these. And I, I kept refusing offers. Um, so you saw there were two, two top pockets that you can put coupons in, you can put change in, whatever. You, I, I wouldn't put change in here. I'd just keep a small change purse with it. But... For money and checks and this is what I love I love I have so many cards of all sorts um, so and we're not talking credit cards we're talking like library cards and loyalty cards but I like that I can put them all in here and this whole thing I can carry on its own and it is a gorgeous gorgeous piece um, I like this little um, stingray look here and I also like the fact that this is small enough that I can throw it in a clutch. And when I pull out my wallet, people are going to notice it. It's going to be distinctive. And I can throw it into a big bag. So I, I'm not really sure why this isn't more popular. I think it's probably probably because of this. But understand that this is really distinctive and pretty. Let me show you that up close. And so you can carry this on your own. This is going to be a really great statement piece. Um, I, I could carry this with what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing um, grays and blacks. I'm wearing a tunic with a belt and leggings um, and boots. So this is a really great statement wallet. Um, I know a lot of people are going to the Dulux, um, the Dulux sequined wallets for that reason. So if you're having trouble getting a sequined wallet, consider the uh, King Flip. So that's all I want to talk about on this particular video. I'm running out of time and really, um, really excited about this haul. Oh, I didn't show you my bag. Son of a gun. Okay, let me show you my bag really quick. Dang nabbit. Neri, I'm so sorry because this is like the super haul of <laughs> the Cosmic Love Pouch. That's just an awful thing. <laughs> my Cosmic Love Pouch. I got a Corette bag. I've never had a Corette. And honestly, I'm going to show you the whole reason I wanted a Corette. Right there. I'm so easy to please. Uh, this bag is huge, and it's wonderful, and it feels like leather, and it's got this gorgeous um, flap on the front with really cool interior. Do you see that lining? So it's got this cool flap on the front with, um, I don't know how I feel about this yet. I, I didn't even open it yet, but... They have this little tassel on this little spiral piece of leather. And on the back, it's got the privacy pocket, which is for sunglasses um, or an iPhone. I would probably put both in there. It's got the croc. Is that croc? Alligator? I'm not very girly. Um, the decorative strap. Um, the one thing I don't like about this bag, this strap is not very substantial. This strap 
feels like it could break at any point. The handles are also made of this decorative material, and I'm just going to kind of pretend I opened that. Um, clearly, the bag was not like my focal piece, but I, I love the bag. It was just, there were so many cool things in this bag. I'm so sorry. Uh, the bag is huge. I love a huge bag. Um, okay, again, another reason I got the Corette. There's a mirror attached in here. It's just so cute. Um, I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't buy bags because of just little things like that, but it's me. It's, it's how I roll. Um, oh, I'm stuck. Okay, in the crate, it opens like a bowler bag, but it's more flat. So you can put like an iPad in there and not have to worry that there are going to be problems. Please don't eat the silica gel. Um, or, or don't let your dogs or kids eat that either. Uh, it says do not eat, throw away. There is another privacy pocket. This one's small though. Know that um, this is not a big one. This is going to be for like your feminine products and that's about it. Some of you use like little carrying cases for that and stuff so it won't matter. And then on the other side of this you have the cell phone pocket and this pocket's just never big enough for anything. Uh, maybe you can use it for like a galaxy or something. But this bag is huge. It is um, a forearm and a bit and head wise it's two heads wide and about a head and a half tall this is one of uh, my ideal bags on all levels it comes with cool little gadgets it's got room for all my essentials it's big enough to carry my iPad 2 which I'm carrying my iPad mini with me now um, it's got little bells and whistles for everything and it's just really pretty it's a no-nonsense all the time bag this is a professional looking bag so all of that from a $53 pouch I think is um, not a bad gift thank you Neri um, thank you for all of the trading that um, you do to help my bags be awesome because I'm not good at it and thank you to all of you that traded with me um, my son will be home in like five minutes and then I have to go to work. So I'm going to try to make this fast so I can download these videos before I go. But, um, I love you guys. You're awesome. And, um, leave me comments. Come see my blog. Um, say hi. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Hope you're having a great, great day. Oh, and I'm wearing my Mike Michael Marcus blush too. Talk to you soon. Bye.